What's going on everybody? Joel here from State 48 Exotics and boy do we have a surprise for y'all today. Today we finally have baby snakes! And so today is finally the day. After finally, this just, it feels like an eternity. 2020 has just drug on, right? And I, I know, I know you all feel me on that, but it's just been torture watching everybody hatch out these incredible animals. And I am just filled with envious jealousy. But today we finally got our own hatchlings to hatch out and I couldn't be more excited. And so the clutch in question here is a pastel 100% het pied bred to a yellow belly or gravel pied. And as you all know, if you've been following along very long, I've been really trying to prove this male out to be gravel because we're pretty sure last year we hatched out a pastel super gravel pied. But you know, it's just one of those things. I don't like calling things unless I'm 100% sure on them. So it's just been like this, this goal of mine to prove this dude out. And I'm sure everyone is sick of me constantly saying yellow belly or gravel, or we're gonna prove them out or whatever. Well, this clutch, we proved them out. But before we get to the uh, cutting side of this, I uh, really wanted to show off the parents of this clutch, you know, because I feel like that's a, that's a cool place to start, you know? Put these two snakes together and you can get X, you know, whatever it may be. And that's, it's all part of the plan, right? That's all part of the journey. It's, you know, raising these animals, breeding them, getting them to do all the right things. Like, you know, it's the whole thing that really makes all of this a lot of fun. But I will say this is like the most fun part of the hobby is hatching snakes which you obviously know that of course but yeah here let's 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 check these out real quick all right so here's mama and there she is so this is uh the pastel highway um she also is 100 percent heifer pied like we mentioned earlier but the crazy thing about her is that we picked her up uh from justin over at jkr obviously and she was a 50% het for pied. So last year just blew me away that we got her to hatch uh, out some pieds. Like it was so, so fortunate on our end. We got, we got so lucky, it's crazy. And uh, I have a pretty good feeling about this clutch we're about to cut out because I've seen some heads poking out and there's some, there's some good things coming. So here she is, you know, I know a lot of people talk about how their, uh, the pastel highways kind of, you know, fade out and might not look that good as adults, but check her out. You know, I've, I've seen a few pastel highways and in my biased, 100% uh, biased opinion, this is one of the nicest adult pastel highways I think I have ever seen. And she was just stunning as a baby. It was, it was right when I was kind of getting back into ball pythons after taking a few years off and, and it just, it blew my mind that a ball python could even look like this. And, and since then, I've just been infatuated by the Highway Project, and I think there's just so much left to do, even though I feel like a lot has already been done with it. But, I mean, good lord, look at that freaking snake. All right, so next up, we have Dave here, and this is uh, the MVP. I mean, this dude here, he is, he is just perfect. I mean, look at the colors. He held his colors so well into adult, you know? Like, a lot of pieds obviously, you know, get a lot darker and some people say brown out or, you know, they, they turn into ball pythons, right? Like, of course, I mean, I mean, all kinds of species are so bright when they're young and then get darker with age because that's survival. It's not good to look like this in the wild or be very bright and vibrant. You want to blend into their surroundings. So of course, as these animal age, they get darker, but that's, you know, part of the journey here. We're, we're trying to make great looking adults. And in my opinion, this is a great looking adult. And obviously this is a normal pie. This is that uh, yellow belly or gravel. Well, you know, uh, I think there's a pretty good chance that uh, he proves out gravel after what I've seen in those eggs. But, you know, we'll, we'll get to that, we'll get to that. But right now, this dude, he needs his time to shine. This guy, this guy is just an absolute stud. Like, I've said it time and time before, I think this guy would lock with a fire hose. He is, he is just, he's high energy, he's ready to rumble all the time, eats consistently, eats during breeding season, eats off breeding season. He just does all the right things a snake should do. He's, 
he's a happy snake. This is a happy snake right here, and uh, I'm happy to have him here. I think he's gonna stay here forever. He was he was part of my original four snakes that we got out of you know all of this, and uh, he's he's secured his place here for the rest of his life. So super happy to have him, uh, and I'm even more happy with the results of this clutch. Okay, so there's a, there's a little update, kind of, on uh, things involved, all things that matter, I feel like. That is, uh, of course, the Pastel Super Gravel Pied. I remember cutting that open last year and literally, like, just lost it. It was, it was just insane to cut those eggs open and see uh, the pied in there, especially proving out that girl from a 50% het pied. Unreal, I, I was so pumped last year. And so it was just such an epic moment last year for me. You know, it was, uh, it just, everything aligned. I got super lucky and I just, I can't even say how grateful I am uh, to be able to uh, have something like that happen here. You know, it was, it was, it was epic, it was just epic. But, you know, without further ado, let's, let's go jump into cutting open some ball python eggs. Uh, okay, here we go. Pastel Highway Het Pied by Gravel Yellow Belly. Uh, this dude here, or girl, already pipped out. It looked like this was a pied, so uh, we'll cut that one open first and uh, see what we got. All right, so obviously we have a pied here. Uh, it doesn't look like this is a highway pied uh, because we're not getting any patterns. Super high white pied, but uh, hopefully we can get this dude's head to kind of been around for us. It was poking out earlier. It was a really cool head, but pied nonetheless. Uh, we'll put him back and move on to the next. Okay, scissor swap. I don't like those other scissors. Ooh, a highway. So uh, we have ourselves a little highway here. Um, 100% het for pied, which is awesome. This might even be a pastel highway, it's looking super bright. Uh, trying to find its head to see what we're looking at here. All right, next up, this dude here. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we can get another pied out of this. Got to do the uh, the roll on the egg. Make sure you're not cutting the snake. Scissors are always pointed up, not down. Woo, we got a pie. Oh, this one looks pretty. Woo -hoo. Look at the oranges on that. That is insane. And so that has to be either a yellow belly or gravel pied, you know, because this uh, ALS act like super situation, we can get no normals out of this. And that thing is so orange. That is wild. All right, two pieds. We got two pieds, one pastel highway, maybe just highway. We'll have to see on that one. It's always weird when they're in the egg. We got a highway. Look at that. I don't think that's a highway. No. I believe that that is a super gravel right there. Um, and that proves out uh, our dude to be gravel. So let's get a better look here. Oh, you can see under his chin. Is that a super gravel? There you go, snake's first breath. First breath into life. How crazy. There it is, that's the one we've been looking for. Um, yes, that is awesome. 100% het pied right there. All right, next egg up, super gravel pied right here. Biggest, second biggest egg. Oh, 
Another highway. Mm -hmm. Looks like another pastel highway. Look at that, that is insane. These highways, I love highways. I think they are just so freaking cool. It's, it's just wicked looking that a ball python can look like that. Um, but here we go. Next day up. Last, day. last day. Yeah, here we go. This is uh, this is the super gravel for sure. This is a super gravel pie. Uh, let's see, see what we got here. Oh, we got a pied, and it is either a highway or super gravel pie. This will this will be hard to tell, but you can see right here, there's uh, that pixelated pattern with the uh, the pied coming in. Um, yep, there's there's our winner. Uh, this is uh, this is it. So there it is. There's uh, we hit at least a highway pied out of this. Uh, it might even be pastel. It has a lot of yellow on its head there, but we'll have to check these out when they uh, when they get out of the egg. Okay, so egg cutting is done. Obviously, uh, we are fast forwarding into the future through the magic of video editing, and now we are at the spot where we get to see the snakes out of the egg. So they haven't shed first. Uh, a couple of them are kind of entering in shed, so I think they're not going to look exactly perfect, but. Um, the results of this clutch, like, uh, I just, I don't know, like, it, it's, it's unreal. This is unreal, uh, the results of this clutch. I, I just uh, pulled them out of the incubator, they're all out of the eggs, so I feel like now it's time to do kind of, you know, that cleanup video and uh, show you all what we really got because there was some misleading things in the egg cutting part of this, but nonetheless, the dude proved out, super gravel. Like, whoo, we hit a super gravel. And that's just incredible to know because now I know those pinstripe pieds from last year are gravel pinstripe pieds. I know that girl from last year is a pastel super gravel pied and it like just lines up, you know, it lines everything up and I'm just, I am so excited. And, and another thing, you know, it means that when he was bred to the ivory, you know, we're gonna get pastel highway het pieds from that ivory breeding. Gratitude, I am just so grateful. Um, but let me get off my soapbox and uh, let's check some snakes out. Whoo, okay, so here's, uh, here's the cleanup video we have. Um, yeah, where to start? Uh, so <laughs> let's start with the uh, the non visuals of uh, of the clutch. So we uh, we hit two pastel highway 100% het four pies. Um, check that out. That's what I'm saying about the the pastel highways. That's a ball python. That doesn't make sense to me. That is insane. There's three genes at play there. There's pastel yellow belly and gravel all at play. That's ridiculous. It just, it, it blows my mind that, that a ball python can look like this. And I just, you know, I, I just love, I love this project. Um, and this, this is a stunner here. This thing is exceptional. So here's another one. Uh, we have a pastel highway, 100% uh, het for pied. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop saying 100% het for pied and just assume that uh, everybody knows they are indeed 100% het for pied. Um, but geez, look at that. I just, I love this project. I love these snakes. It's just, it's phenomenal. Um, blows my mind each and every time just seeing these snakes hatch out. And uh, especially the odds on this, like we didn't get a single gene. We didn't get a yellow belly or gravel. We got highways and uh, the uh, the infamous right here. The proof is in the pudding. The super gravel. We hit the super gravel. He proved out. It's right there. It's in our faces. It happened. Um, check that out. My word. Super gravels. This is like I just want to make everything super gravel. This is insane. Look how cool these snakes look. This. This is just two copies of the gravel gene. This is their super. You'll never get a normal out of this. You'll only get gravels out of it. Um, and it just, it blows my mind 
how insane the pattern looks. But what's really cool about the Super Gravels is uh, they age really well. I feel like the Supers look just dang near as good as the hatchlings. And uh, that's, you know, that's something we're striving for, that's for sure. Okay, so next up is uh, the first pied of the group. We, uh, this is a yellow belly or gravel pied. Um, if I was a betting man, I would say this one is also gravel because this thing is so vibrant and orange, uh, just like his dad. And what's also really unique is the head pattern kind of has that uh, Mickey Mouse uh, ears a little bit on the head. I don't know if we'll be able to catch that, but yeah, it's just, it's mind blowing how orange this snake is. And uh, he or she actually is already spoken for, which is pretty wild, but um, almost has a pretty unique little neck pattern there. I don't know if you can uh, see that. Um, but yeah, that's a special one. Okay, so this is a segment of the video where things get a little nutty. Um, and uh, so first up is this uh, guy or gal here. Um, we have ourselves a super gravel pied right here. This is madness. I, I cannot believe that we were lucky enough to hit another super gravel from the same pairing of last year. And as you can see, super high white, which, you know, I'm actually starting to become a pretty big fan of because I feel like everything is going towards low white pides. And, you know, now it's time to maybe uh, start heading in the other direction, right? But good Lord, I'm just, I'm stunned. I am stunned right now with the with the uh, odds of this clutch. All right, so I believe this one is actually a girl. Check that again here in a little bit. I was having kind of a tough time. And here it is, the last snake of the clutch. Uh, and wouldn't you know it, pastel super gravel pied. Two years in a row, we lucked out on this and hit a super gravel with pastel in a pied. Two years running. This is. This is insane. So we got a super gravel pied, a yellow belly or gravel pied, two pastel highways, a super gravel, and a pastel super gravel all in the same clutch. I can't even explain it. Like I am loving it. This is epic. You know, what a great way to start the season. Um, and the season is just gonna keep getting better and better and better. Whoo, okay. So there you have it. And so I put all the hatchlings together in one tub until they all shed out to kind of help aid each other in their sheds. And then they all get their individual tubs past that. But uh, like I said, this clutch, <laughs> This blew my face off. It just, it doesn't make sense how fortunate we got on this. And uh, I know it's a, it's a sign of things to come, right? 2020 has been uh, one of those years, but it doesn't mean it has to be one of those years when it comes to hatching out epic snakes. And so, Thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was an absolute pleasure to shoot, as you could imagine. Um, it's just, you know, epic things coming. Epic things coming here, epic things coming for you too. So um, yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna go uh, celebrate um, and uh, we'll, we'll see you on the next one. So I hope you all are having a great morning, night, evening, whenever you may be watching this and uh, we'll see you all later. Okay.